In 1999, a small group of women from the highlands of Papua New Guinea joined together to put an end to tribal violence in their community. Angela Appa, Mary Kinney, and Agnes Seal convinced other women to stand up and say, enough is enough. By putting themselves in between enemy tribes on the battlefield, they were able to stop tribal fights. They formed a group called Coop Women for Peace, or KWP, which has completely transformed the area from one of PNG's most violent to one of its most peaceful. My father was killed. My stepfather was killed in 1973, and they chopped him into pieces. And I was hardly you know, able to see my father's face or body or something like that. 1999 to 2000, my son-in-law was shot. Mm. Uh, and he was killed, so two of them. After having a lot of brothers, you know, I didn't want them to go and die the same way as my father did, so... Okay, I will try to do something about it. For decades, there were no basic services in the Coop district. No water, no health clinics, no schools, no communications, no roads, no police. That has all changed with the work of the group. We didn't have uh, security, we didn't have proper house to sleep, we used to, uh, ladies used to give birth in the cow grass, mm. the, because the house, the hospital here was closed, and you know, our gardens were being stolen and we couldn't do much. Even though we had the bulk of the population in the area were men, but they didn't have that guts to stand up and say what, is, what was wrong is wrong, but the ladies who were traditionally seen as the low class and all the, they somehow had that guts to stand up and say that enough is enough. Since the early 1970s, there was no law enforcement in the region because the government police would get attacked. So the group, which is now made up of men and women, helped to form a volunteer community police force. They patrol a huge area on foot, deterring crime and mediating conflicts. They've been so successful that the government is now sending official police back into the district. Through our partnership with Oxfam, the group has branched out from conflict resolution to projects that provide the building blocks of a dignified life. Clean water, food, jobs, healthcare, and security. A clever way to provide an income source as well as a protein source is through animal husbandry projects. A family receives a group of chickens or rabbits. The first time they reproduce, the family gives the chicks to a neighbor. The second time they reproduce, the family can sell the chicks, and so on. That's the best way. When people have projects to do, they are busy. And they have no time for any other thing. With our project giving, big change. Yes. Like during the election, that would have led them into big trouble fighting. But this year's election, very clean. Nearly two thirds of Papua New Guineans don't have access to safe water. With Oxfam support, KWP has been able to provide rain catchments and gravity fed systems that are supplying thousands of people with safe water. HIV AIDS is a looming epidemic in Papua New Guinea. With support from KWP, Aure Mariana runs the only HIV and AIDS hospice in the district, caring for patients who have nowhere else to turn. She now has the benefit of sanitary toilets and innovative solutions to help with bathing, laundry, and washing dishes. KWP has also adopted a young women's leadership program to develop an income generating project which they didn't have before. In this project, women need traditional bags known as bilums and sell them locally as well as in Fiji. Our girls used to get married at the age of 14, on, uh, 16, and some were being raped. Now, they respect us as women. The mothers have worked hard to negotiate for peace. This is, this is a very dramatic, you know, dramatic change to the community now. So, Coop is at peace at last. They want peace in the community, and now peace is 
here now. It's here. And it's here to stay. And at the moment we... We're really doing fine.